So yesterday I got an email from my doctor. I go to a, a spine and pain specialist and because uh, we're dealing with some things with my back. So needless to say, I'm excited to talk about resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> and so, because I've got a lot of ailments and things that have been bugging me for years that I can't wait to get rid of. Can we revisit this topic and, and uh, discuss a little bit more about the, the resurrection and, and what it really means? Uh, I think maybe the best place to start might be at Alma 11. So this is Amulek. Uh, but Amulet gives what may be the most straightforward, thorough description of the resurrection we find in Scripture. So this is Alma 11, starting in verse 42. There is a death which is called a temporal death, right, a physical death. Uh, and the death of Christ shall loose the bands of this temporal death, that all shall be raised from this temporal death. The spirit and the body shall be reunited again in its perfect form. Both limb and joint shall be restored to its proper frame, even as we now are at this time. And we shall be brought to stand before God, knowing even as we know now and have a bright recollection of all our guilt. Now, he says about this, how universal this resurrection is. This restoration shall come to all, both old and young, both bond and free, both male and female, both the wicked and the righteous. And even there shall not so much as a hair of their heads be lost, but everything shall be restored to its perfect frame as it is now or in the body, and shall be brought and be arraigned before the bar of Christ the Son, and God the Father, and the Holy Spirit, which is one eternal God, to be judged according to their works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. That seems to me as total a picture as you can get in a couple of verses, right? And I'm sure you can appreciate this as a doctor, Steve, this idea of pain, you know, going away, and I'm sure you've seen with some, a lot of your patients, the pain they deal with, how sweet that day will be when the resurrection does happen. I've a lot of times dealt with auto pedestrian accidents or different kind of auto accidents, but a couple of times I actually had conversations with individuals that were driving that, that um, you know, struck a, a, a pedestrian. And that was so painful, uh, you know, for, for them to go to kind of be culpable, so to speak, mm -hmm. in, in that terrible or tragic accident. There are times you'd walk away as a physician and go, you know, only a spiritual healing will eventually allow that person to really even get through this and, and, and to deal with it. And, and you'd, you know, you could just be prayerful that at some time they would be gifted that. And, and that's what we're talking about, you know, in Easter. Mm -hmm. you know. Well, we have a little grandson that was born a year ago, and his name's Theodore, and he was born with a really severe um, deformity of his feet called hemimilia, fibular hemimilia. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> and um, he had to have his feet amputated in January, and that was a really hard thing to have that and to watch this young couple going through this experience, but it's so wonderful to think that someday mm -hmm. he will have those feet back and he'll be able to walk again. And what a miracle and blessing the atonement and resurrection is. Mm -hmm.